He's here to see you. Send him in. Right. Sit down. Thank you. I'm Turoski. We understand you are fighting a tough war here. We'll do everything we can to support you. But the Americans, they're very strong. They made this a tough war to fight. We are aware of the situation. The Americans are stupid. And we also know that they have guerrillas fighting on their side. Right. We've also received news that a new platoon of American soldiers has raided us. Commander, you should send in a team to destroy them. No, I can't spare the men. All right, then. What do you have in mind? This is my plan to get the guerrillas before an attack on the Americans. Good idea, Commander. Our group will join your guerrilla forces as a subdivision. It will carry out a diversion to wipe them out. That's a good plan, Mr. Tarowski. You've done a lot for us. What can we do in return? We need more supply of your weapons and your ammunition that was supplied by the Russians. We'd like to have a small portion how about it? Well, I think I can arrange it for tomorrow. Hmm. Yes, I can definitely arrange it for tomorrow. Right, thank you very much. Hmm. Hey.
You take care. Okay. I fell unconscious for five fucking days. How are you going, man? Hmm. Fortunately, it's only muscle damage. I'll be okay. What about Jimmy and his team? They've been completely wiped out. God damn it! Those rotten sons of bitches! Boy, looks like the nightmare has just begun. Major Max decided to set up a new platoon of guerrilla forces. 
We'll enroll in one of the squads when you're better. I'm sick of this fight. Who isn't? The thing is, the war is nobody's fault. They can't blame it on us. Yeah? Well, I don't care who wins. Countless numbers of our army are being killed. Some of them are our friends. I don't know why we have to get involved in this business anyway. We're doing our duty. <laughs> bullshit! It's bullshit! It's to safeguard democracy. That's their fucking excuse anyway. I can't go any further, because there are several villages on the other side of the mountain. They seem very friendly to me, though. Huh. All right then, George. We'll set up camp here tonight. Set the tents up. Go on, you guys. All right. Yeah, okay. Hey, Ron. Okay. Go. Commander, it doesn't feel like we're on a mission at all. It feels more like a vacation. <laughs> That's what you think. This is only the beginning. Things will get a lot tougher. The communists could attack. Any time. Yep. But we'll beat the communists, right? Yeah, I hope so. Just be aware the communists aren't stupid. I'll help put the tents up. Hmm. Laura, you, Timothy, and James go prepare the meal, all right? And we're running out of water. You're responsible for the water supply. Take two men with you to get a refill. Yes, sir. Commander, you wanted to see me? You're responsible for the security, all right? Right. Once we get settled down, I'm going to contact the Americans to discuss our next move. They'll never know that we've surrounded them. We need this surprise attack to wipe them out. I hope that the war will be over then. This could be it. Why don't you go draft the schedule for the night shift? Mm, I'll have it done by noon, OK? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I hope the enemy doesn't find out about us. This surprise attack could be the turning point for us. Yep. George, we must win the war. We'll try our best. I guess the rest will have to leave to fate. Right, we'll go down in history. <laughs> for sure. Andy, tell me, you all right? 
Hey, who did this to you? The, two of them, from the other side of the mountain. But no one lives there. Who are they? I'm not sure. They could be guerrillas. They both have guns. There must be others. They must be from the south, then. I knew they would come. You don't have to worry about a thing. The terrorists are on our side. We have enough strength to wipe them out. Here, have some water, Andy. Jade, when are we going to contact the American army? You know, I feel much more secure if they fight with us. The Americans aren't as good as you think. They're all hippies, wimps, and kids. <laughs> they can't fight, especially in a place like this. They're chicken shit. Hey, someone go help Robert and George. Uh. What happened? You guys all right? Looks like you ran into some trouble. Was it the enemy who did this to you? I don't know. It could have been. Better let the doc take a look at him first. All right, you go see the doctor. Then you can tell me what happened. Right. <laughs> I'm going to get you all wet before I let you get out of there. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> no way! No, I've got oh. my clothes on. I'm not coming in. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. What do you want? Just leave me alone! <laughs> leave me alone! Let go of me! Come Just on, leave me alone! Good time. Hmm? Let go of me now! Help! Help! Help me! Help me! Get lost. Get out of my way. If a woman's not willing, then it's rape. I don't need this. <laughs> Come on! Oh. weapons. They can be villagers. We have to be more careful. They could come back any time they want. Hmm. Now, Commander Yao, hmm. I think the new dance was a trap that was set for us. We should go check it out. What do you think, Commander? That's right, Robert. I want you all to go check it out. Go circle around back, got it?
go of him. Stop dreaming. You go tell the asshole Americans that nothing can stop us. Let me tell you something, asshole. The Americans are coming now. So listen. Surrender or you'll die. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! Sergeant, this meeting was called because we've already identified the villagers. They are terrorists fighting against our government. We pinpointed the location of one of their camps in the western region of the Forest Mountain. Why not call an airstrike, sir? Good idea, Sergeant. But there's one small problem. What's that, sir? They've taken Commander Yao's daughter as a hostage. Well, that does complicate things. We have to clean this one up on our own. I'm sending you in. Yes, sir. I have a suggestion. Let's hear it. I request squad leader John Merlin and Private First Class Bill West to join our mission. What the hell are you talking about, Sergeant? Those guys are losers. They're not fit to fight. I know they failed the previous mission, but they're more familiar with the area. Hold it. They're damn good fighters, sir. I know they can do it. I'd like to give them one more chance. I hope this request will be approved, sir. Take them with you. But if they blow it, it's your ass. I understand, sir. We must accomplish this mission, Sergeant. Take any action you feel necessary. You are licensed to kill. Don't worry, sir. We'll take him out. I'll take care of things here. You check upstairs. You take care of that sucker, man. Just a test? 
If that was for real, you'd be dead already. Bill, how'd you know he wasn't the guy we were looking for? I saw a dead soldier downstairs. According to our instructions, we only have to rescue him. It had to be a mistake. That's right. It's a battlefield. Don't trust anyone except your rifles. Kill or be killed is the name of the game. Major Max put me in charge of the next mission. I want both of you in because you're good fighters. Tomorrow, we'll be in the jungle. You better get ready for it. Yes, yes sir. sir! Here. You must be tired, aren't you? Yeah, but that all changed when you showed up. Oh, really? Would I have a lie? <laughs> huh? Oh! We better go this way. Is it all worth it? 
God only knows. I'm so damn tired of all this killing. Poor Sarge. Who next? This is fucked. I was born in the States, and I'm gonna die in this godforsaken land. Why? Why do we have to get caught up in this fucking mess? What are we gonna do? I don't... I don't want to be a part of this anymore. What are you gonna do? You can't walk out like it doesn't exist? <sighs> I need a long break away from this shit. So what do you think? You want to go on doing this? I don't know. I'm so confused. Maybe... Maybe I'll go with you. But I don't know what Max is going to say about all this. Don't get me wrong. I'm a representative from Mr. Tarosky. He sent me to see Commander Halpin. That's all. Really, trust me. Could you take me to see him, please? All right, we'll go. Take him to the commander. I'll move. kept inside. Oh. Hey, go bring her out now. Ah, Commander Halkins here. Hey. How are you? What's he doing here? He's here to pick up the woman and bring her to Taraski. Mm. <laughs> All right, then. You tell Taraski to take good care of this chick here. She's Commander Yell's daughter. If Tarosky becomes his son-in-law, he might just join our side. What do you think, huh? So make sure you keep this little lady alive. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. Mm. You and Barry go with J-Van. Make sure you look after them. Thank you, Commander Halkin. Mm. Just tell Tarosky I want to see him. Uh, I'll pass the message on. I think I should be going. <laughs> Fanny's okay. Hey, that's George. George is coming. Look. Yes. Go bring Dr. Chang here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She's injured. Who is she? I met her in the forest. I think that she was running away. She came from the enemy's campsite. She was hurt, so I carried her back. Is that so? My name is Rosa, and I live with my family in a village. A year ago, the guerrillas came. They killed my parents and my brothers and forced us to become their slaves. Please help us. Did you see our man? They have a man in prison there. I think he must be your man because he's the only stranger. We helped him out, but I lost him. I think she must be talking about Robert then. It's good to know that he's still alive. OK, Fatty, take her inside. Oh. If she's right, we should go look for him. You can stay here. I might need your help. Merlin? 
is your home? My home, Chicago. That's a crazy city, man. Nobody gives a fuck about anybody. How was your childhood? It was pretty rough. But then again, I was a tough kid in that neighborhood. <laughs> How's that? The kids? I tell you, they grow up fast in that city. Money and broads, they come first. I had my first lay when I was 13. Well, actually, I was raped. I didn't know what happened. <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> she was babysitting my youngest sister, for God's sake. 30 years old, the bitch. I was peeping through the door of the room she was changing in. She caught me. She came rushing out and grabbed me and dragged me into my own room, crawled on top of me. I was scared shitless. <laughs> I didn't know what was happening to me. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, well, I guess we better keep moving. Come on, you've had enough rest. We gotta keep moving. We split here, okay? What? Come on. You just leave me here, okay? Well, fuck you, man. What the hell are you talking about? I'm gonna go back to camp and tell Max that you deserted. What? Jesus. You wouldn't do that to me now. Don't you bet on it. You're one hypocritical fuck. Whatever you think, pal. I just don't give a shit. I just don't want to be a deserter. You, you just go your own way. Fuck you! I should have left you in the fucking jungle, you motherfucker! Yeah, right. Just get away. Just get out of here. Have a good life. <laughs> No use. It'll blow. Don't you fucking move. Take your foot slowly out of your boot. I can't. Bill, take your foot out of your boot. I can't. Coming with me, as a whole.
Come on in, Annie. The water's lovely. <laughs> How do you break our rule, Annie? General Olga, part of the American troops have been destroyed. <laughs> right. Well, I'm very pleased with your work. What can I do in return? General Halkin, Mr. Tarowski wants some weapons from us. That's not a problem, huh? No, right, you can take care of it. Yes, General. Like I said, our generals always keep his promise. Good, General. I'll send my men to pick up the weapons tomorrow. Okay, General. I'll take care of it. Major, there was a surprise attack on my troops. Luckily, your Air Force was there. Otherwise, we'd have been wiped out for sure. They were equipped with Russian ammunition, but they didn't look like communists to me. So, have you identified the intruders? Yeah, terrorists. That's possible. My sources informed me that the terrorists have joined the communists in order to get the supply of ammunition. And I'm going to train up my platoon as soon as possible and stop the communists from infiltrating this area. We learned some hard lessons in our last mission. We underestimated the communists. We both have to be very careful this time. Yeah, I'll be more careful this time, Major. I'll try to find out more about the terrorists. Hmm, good. Who are you? Where are you taking me to? Oh, I came to rescue you. You can relax. I'm a South Vien gorilla. Our campsite's on the other side of the mountain. There's nothing to worry about. Come on, you're in good hands. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Hello? Oh, what happened to you? Tarowski's man attacked me. He's a traitor. Oh. Oh. This way. Come on. I was just looking for you. That Tarowski's man, Jade Man, is a traitor. He took Annie away. That asshole. I knew he was trouble when I first saw him. And that Annie needs to learn a lesson. Uh, don't do anything stupid. Just kill Jade Man and bring her back. Her father works for Halkin. How? You know what to do? Sure. That bastard's gonna bite the dust.
are you staring at me? Oh, uh, uh, our campsite's just behind the woods. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh.
that motherfucker or I'll blow your fucking head off. George is right. Why don't you go and tell him to wait for us? Right. Okay. I'll take care of it. Chang is so thick, he'll probably lose his way. Yeah, right. Let's get some water. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, hi, guys. You must be the commander of this guerrilla troop. Is that right? Yeah, I'm Commander Yao. Oh, we are the Republic Force Platoon Number 27. I'm Captain Froster, here to help your division. Uh, please explain our mission. I haven't had any news about your force coming. We're following Major Max's order. What a great arrangement he made. So, now we'll all be working together. Please explain our mission to us. But who will be in charge here now? You, of course. I think we all agree that you should be in charge. Come on, Dad, don't be stubborn. We should cooperate with their force, Dad. It's much better to fight the war together. Hmm. All right, I'll be the commander in charge then. Come on. Come on. There's only one path through here. George must be up there somewhere. Come on, let's take a look. Huh? Oh, hi, George. <laughs> so tell me, George, did you find anything? I don't know. Their site used to be here, but it's not here now. They must have found out we were coming, so they relocated to a safer place, I guess. Uh, all right, we'll report this to Commander Yao and let him decide if we should keep going or not. We've surrounded your camp. You're finished. George. <sighs> you can let him go. All right, listen. If he was telling the truth, then we're all in big trouble. I'll inform the commander. Right. Yeah. Oh, sure. Hey, come on. Let me have a gun, too.
American friend. Don't let me down. I bet a lot on you. This fight will cost you a fortune. <laughs> execute you till tomorrow. This is my very, 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 very special gift to you, my friend. <laughs> hmm. You can kiss my ass, you motherfucker! Get him out of here! <laughs> Find Robert. I'll look after her. Could you give me a last kiss? Yeah! 
George, it's you. It's good to see that you're safe, Robert. The command is in danger. And we're not out of danger ourselves. Come on, let's go. But wait, my father's still in the cave. We can't go back now. Dad, look over there. There's George and Robert. It's all right, I can manage. It's good to see our unit is back together. The road will be hard from here on, Commander. Because our route's been blocked by that giant explosion. Oh? Then we can't reach the frontier on time. Annie's father was killed by it. I think that it was deliberate to keep us from moving forward. Then the Americans are our last hope. Let me go! 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 Where the hell do you take the weapons to? I don't know. <coughs> 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 Did you hear what I asked you, asshole? No. So you think it's tough? Just tell me where, sucker. Fuck off! That's enough. I'll make him try. Tell me where they are, or I'm gonna stick this right through your balls. Now you see, answer us, or I swear to God, I will skin you alive. Okay, the site is in the old forest, about 10 miles from here. Take care of them. Give me that.
No, he no, he's mine. Well, American, look around. Nowhere to escape. <laughs> Surrounded! Eh? Ah. 